Hello guys, uh, today I want to go over a sound that is uh, more of an ambient sound rather than the sort of dubstep drum and bass sounds from last week. First I'll um, play it so you can hear uh, what, what it sounds like in the context of the song. It's this uh, purple region here and it, it repeats the whole song on different channels. So it's, it's really the foundation of the, of the song. So you hear it throughout the whole song and if you want to hear the whole song you can go to my SoundCloud soundcloud.com slash uh, and check it out um, and um, let's see there are some effects on oh no don't do that there are some effects on here but I'll oops crazy logic go away you Alright, there are some effects on here, um, but I think they, they don't do that much. Just uh, some filter and some uh, delay. And one send is going to the reverb. And the other, oh, this is kind of cool, a little trick on the side. This send is going to a pitch shifter. And if you automate that, you can um, add overtones by uh, for example putting the pitch shifter to uh, an octave or a third and then send a part of the sound to that pitch shifter so that you get these um, you can form these chords with one note for example so that's something that you can experiment with um, but let me turn it off for now that's not the pitch shifter so in Zebra, it's, it's quite a, a big patch. Um, and rather than going over every everything of the sound and showing every setting and say, okay, this is set to 40, this is set to 30, stuff like that, um, I would like to go um, to explain more of the, the concept behind it and why I did certain things and uh, how you can emulate this, the style more than the specific sound itself so i used all four lanes in the mixer in zebra and um, if we solo the first lane you can hear that this is the um, the, the bass the, the uh, underlying charge of the pads then we have the main um, character character of the sound in lane two Then we have a little delay at the start of the sound in lane two. Yeah, again. Ah, it's not playing. So just like that. And then we have some more pads, overtones. All right, so um, the main, what makes the sound, I, in my opinion, the most interesting is um, this lane, lane two, where you hear this weird tone, and that is not that is not uh, done by modulating the frequency, um, but I made that by modulating the uh, filter cutoff and putting the resonance very high. So I'll turn this off to make it a little bit easier to see. So we just got one oscillator, um, which is on the preset saw silk. I think that's in your factory oscillators. And if you didn't know yet, if you click here, you can load oscillator presets. And if you do a right click, you can save oscillator presets, uh, which is really awesome. 
so that oscillator is not doing um, too many special things and it's going through the formant filter with a vowel all the way up and a little bit of envelope four on there and then it's going through the XMF filter which is um, which is providing the, the the main part of the sound and what I did there this I did not use but if I go over to the mod matrix you can see that I've assigned MSEG2 to the XMF resonance and it's this one because these both knobs are you would think that this right knob was uh, for modulating the resonance but uh, actually these are both for modulating the cutoff so if you want to modulate the resonance you have to do that in the mod matrix so um, if we go over to MSEG2 we can see that I uh, drawn in this bump there and that's exactly where the sound gets this uh, character from and um, it's, it's kind of important how you set the resonance and the cutoff because that's going to produce different tones and you don't want uh, in most cases you don't want the note that is not in the in the scale of your song so what you can do is uh, put some kind of tuner on your channel and see which tone it's producing so in this case it's a B and if I change the cutoff now You can see that you can um, get uh, you can get other notes pretty easily. So you have to be uh, precise with this, and um, which in most cases you can hear when it's uh, sounding a little bit off. So. I broke it now. This one was on 40. Okay, well, it doesn't matter. Um, and the other, so then, then we have that part of the sound. And in the oscillator, I use these effects for Manzilla and the fundamental, but you can. This is just something to to mess around with, and it it depends a lot. It's it's not that the fundamental oscillator effect always sounds the same. So it depends a lot on your waveform. It depends a lot on your um, resolution settings and all that stuff. So that's something that you can have uh, fun with for days. Then the sync is on. Turn of the uh, six. Um, I modulate the volume a little bit with the LFO so that's that part of the sound and now take a closer look at this first uh, lane with oscillator 1 which is providing the bass and as you can see I routed a part of the signal to um, XMF2 to also play a part of this sound through that filter and you can do that by right clicking on the XMF filter and then say receive input from um, two and sidechain from one. So now it's gonna get part of the signal. I can also, for example, say sidechain from three and then you need to switch that on. And then it's gonna receive some of this signal. But for now we don't want that. But that is how you uh, make these uh, complex routings here like I did. Um, oh, I didn't do it here. but like I use all the time to, to, to create multi-layer patches. So the first one is um, also a regular saw pulse oscillator. And we'll switch these off again. And then I've set LFO3 on the panning. And I think it's set pretty fast, yeah, 16 to kind of, kind of give this tremulator effect. Then I use the bandworks filters 
um, in the oscillator effect and you can hear just as an extreme impact on your sound. A um, little bit of detuning and uh, some vibrato to get it more, to make it sound more ambient and, and moving. And the uh, vibrato is um, in the initialized patch, it's always wired to um, your LFO1. It even says here vibrato. Vibrato. So here, I think I, I changed the speed a little bit. You can also make it a lot slower. That's a pretty subtle difference. Um, and that one is going through an XMF filter also. And on this one, I also set the resonance very high to, to give this tone. Now I remember what I've set them to, 50 and 49. Ooh, sorry for that. Um, and yeah, th this gives you these two, two knobs, especially when you set them to um, the, the phase filters and then in serial mode it will give you a lot of control over the sound and the tone of the sound and it, in my experience it, it gives for great ambient sounds and then the offset is gonna um, kind of switch between the, the two filters so this is actually two filters in one now I have the, the, the phaser uh, the three stage phaser filter uh, in the upper slot and then the phaser with the low pass in um, the one beneath and they're going they're going in serial mode so um, one first is going through this one and then it's going through that one and here you can choose the amount um, of the filter so more to the left is more to the upper slot more to the right is more to the lower slot um, so that's that part Don't be, don't be afraid of the resonance here. Just pop a limiter on your uh, master channel and and um, set this to 100 and then go experimenting. Because if you, when I started out with synthesis, I was a little bit afraid because this can get crazy really easy. But you find that when you, when you set this to extreme values, you get sounds that you would never expect. So just be careful um, but don't be, don't be shy of using that resonance. Then I think I have to hurry a little bit. Um, seeing the time, then we go to lane three. We have oscillator three um, with key follow on the on the brilliance. So the brilliance is like um, it, it 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 adds more high basically. So now I'm saying that if you play lower on the keyboard, it um, takes away some of the highs and if you play higher it um, adds them and then the formant effect and I gave this one a different envelope you can uh, assign that here I gave it envelope 2 and made it a lot shorter um, so it's just one plug and you can hear the delay on the on the master channel and the filter isn't that exciting. And then the last part, which I really like actually, is um, an FM, which is just playing a, a plain sine wave. And I like these FM sine waves uh, much better than, than the ones in the oscillator. I don't know exactly why, but it sounds better. And you can hear the uh, vibrato in there and if I switch all these off you can hear it's actually a quite a boring sound but with the SP1 which is an uh, um, a sideband controller and I'll have to explain more of that later 
um, which is basically it's it's uh, it's modulating a, a frequency, a fixed frequency that you can choose here, and um, it gives it gives a real ambient effect. And with the offset, you can go it kind of uh, left and right and divide it in the stereo field. I think if you listen with head headphones, you can hear that. Um, then the chrome filter um, set to blown here and um, if you right click this this knob right here you can choose um, a different um, impulse wave it's I think default it's set to noise and I set it to saw which is a bit of a, a softer wave and this is also something I, I'll go into more depth in uh, another video because it's there's a lot to explain about this comb filter and then it's just going to um, low pass with the resonance all the way up yeah you, you can see what I, what I mean there with um, experimenting with the resonance all the way up so that's all that um, for the rest, there isn't there isn't much. There's much. Uh, it's it's not that complicating. It's it's just a lot of stuff. It's not nothing is very difficult of or acquires a lot of synthesis knowledge. It's just the the way you think about. It. You have to you have to listen to your sound and say, okay, what what does it need? Um, does it need more more lows? Does it need a little bit more spice or a little bit more attack? So and, and then if, if you think okay maybe it needs something at the start of the note you can add a different lane with this note that delays and if it needs more low you can um, you can re um, reproduce replicate I think these these oscillator settings and turn them down an octave so you think more sonically and um, what does it need to to make uh, to to fill out the sound. In, instead of how do I get a nice sound? I think that's that a, a better approach is to to really listen to what the, what the sound needs in your opinion. And then on the master quickly um, phaser and uh, chorus, just the low pass filter with key follow, the reverb that you heard, um, the delay, all pretty standard equalizer and uh, compression I think that's it although as you can hear now I screwed up the this tone but that's okay so yeah I hope you get something out of that if you uh, got questions let me know uh, thanks <laughs>